so you can uh, relax. Whichever way it speaks to you. Just you and yourself in your own space. Allow whatever, whatever is arising, give it all the space it needs. There's a lot of space available. Just let it be. Spread itself, whichever way it wants to spread itself. For now, you don't need to do anything about anything. Just don't worry about it. Just let it be. Whichever way you're, you're feeling, Whatever thoughts might be appearing, whatever memories, whatever vibration might be occurring in your in your body mind in your space, just just let it be. It's it's just fine. It's fine. It's fine. Give it all the space it needs. Just find whichever way it speaks to you. A resting space, a space where you, you can just rest. Like watch the shore from a a restful, resting place. Unconcerned. Watch the show like it's happening on a screen. It's not happening to you. vibration of your body-mind is just arising for you to, to see it, to perceive it, to experience it, to, to sense it from a, a very still and quiet and restful space. Notice how whatever arises it dissolves as it arises, it dissolves, it transforms. A thought arises and in an instant it's gone. A bodily sensation might arise. And from the restful place of looking, of listening, that bodily sensation dissolves in the space. Rises 
mysteriously out of the space. The space of listening. And the space of being. the restful space of presence it's so lovely how nothing really touches the space of presence it's it's open spacious restful beautiful lovely unconcerned about whatever arises and dissolves. This open space of presence has no agenda. It is unconcerned. It is not trying to fix anything. is well-being itself, presence is well-being, restful well-being. There is a tendency for the imagined me to be perceived and felt to be an object. And with that tendency to perceive myself as an object, as a body-mind, I become concerned. But right here, right now, just hearing this voice, it 
sensing your breath. your shoulders your back your legs sensing your feet on the ground sensing the pulsation the energetic vibration within the space. The mind is at rest. All is well as it is. Because I know myself as this resting space. In which the sound of the wind arises. There is ample space for hearing this voice and for hearing the, hearing the wind. Whatever arises in this space, which is the space of awareness, is perfect. It arises and dissolves like a fire firefly in the night. But the space of awareness that we cannot perceive as we perceive this voice, that we cannot perceive as we perceive the sound of the wind but that we know, we know as the reality, the reality of presence, the reality of beingness. mysterious, fascinating, that does not come and go with the wind. The space of presence does not come and go with these words. Awareness is not more real when you hear these words and less real when there is silence. It is real across the board. irrespective of what images arise on the screen.
it is said that awakening is awakening to your true nature. What you already are. You are that. You are this borderless, spacious, infinite emptiness, infinite presence. You can feel it and revel in it and rejoice in it as you are it. Notice how the sensations shift and change, the breath rises and falls. Perception such as hearing these words, the words change. The sound of the wind rises and falls. But you, do not. You, the presence, edgeless, infinite, borderless presence, the reality of consciousness that you are. Through the senses, we are habituated to perceive the world, the body, the mind. And through the senses, we have attributed reality to the external world, body and mind. And in doing so, we have overlooked the true, true reality, what is truly real, which is the reality of consciousness, the open space of presence, that, that hears these words right now, that you, that I am. That never comes and goes. Yesterday came and, came and went. Last week came and went. Halloween came and went. But you, the aware presence that hears these words, that, that is not a thing. You, through you, the reality of presence, the spaciousness of being, you do not come and go. wake up to that. Cease mistaking yourself to be a man, a woman. And 
another father, brother, sister, daughter, son. Recognize yourself. The aware, awake presence. Notice. Go to any sensation in your body, such as your back against the couch or against the chair. What is it made of? What is its shape? What it's what is its Consistency. What is this color? What is it made of? Is it is it constant or does it dance and shift? Can you get a hold of it? Is it not? The dream of consciousness, your dream. Notice, notice the sensation of your feet on the ground. your dream? Are they not? Is the sensation not made out of yourself? Is it not made out of you, you, the consciousness that knows it? Notice, notice how in this open space of presence all there is that is really, really real is the open space of presence. But everything is made of that, is made of the open space of presence. The perception is made of the open space of presence, awareness, consciousness. The sensation, the thought, everything is of that substance, the substance of consciousness, of presence, of beingness, of awareness the space notice how peaceful tranquil and so right on this open space of presence is it's delightful And it's not an experience. It is that to which experiences appear, such as the hearing of this voice.
the scented wind. Is there a wind? What is the wind? How do you know the wind? Not the wind. Without calling it wind. Go to it, go, go to it. Where, where, where do you go? Is it not the the peace and the happiness, the well-being. It's, it's there. It's not over there. It is what this presence is. The peace and the well-being. There is no me and you in that. There is no yesterday and tomorrow in that. Just this creative moment being created out of joy and beauty, peace and glory. The mind dissolves in that. I am not hypnotizing you. I'm just pointing to you, your true self, what you are, what you truly are. I am not talking to your mind. It's presence talking to presence, to itself. There is no need to go back to your habitual me and my life and my stories and my concerns and my worries and him and her and she and this and that. There's no happiness in that. Stay with the happiness, with the peace, with the love, with the joy. You, you can do that, trust that, trust the peace and the happiness.
trust that. You have to trust it. Give it all of you, everything that you are, that you have. Give it to the reality of consciousness. It's a true surrender. Is recognizing God, recognizing the divine, recognizing that the truth that we are, the reality of consciousness, not of the mind, not of the spinning mind that lives in time and space, me yesterday, me tomorrow. There's no peace and happiness. You have tried it long enough. That is why you are here. There are no borders to what you truly are. The body is not what you are. The body appears to you as bodily sensations, as images, as memories, as thoughts. They appear to you. Like in your night dream, all sorts of images appear to you as well. Like in this very moment, hearing this voice appears to you. You are that open, borderless space of presence, of witnessing presence, the peaceful restful presence that perceives all perceptions, perceive a thought, perceive a memory, perceives an image, perceives a sensation. And remains the open space of presence. No matter what it perceives. That is the return home. The return home is returning to what you truly are. It's not going somewhere in the world or in a in an experience or in a certain mind state. The return home is the realization that I am home. I am the borderless space of awareness and not a mortal body-mind. Mortal body-minds arise to 